without water, what do we have? It engages across every single aspect of life. Water is literally everywhere. There is not one single human who does not feel connected to water in some way on the planet. Hi, I'm Anita Basu, and I'm a professor in environmental engineering here at Carleton University. Sustainability is a massive word, so what does it actually mean? From my perspective, sustainability means looking at water treatment in a way that reduces costs, reduces energy needs, reduces chemicals, which could have adverse long-term impacts on the environment. On the wastewater side, our goal is to remove organic compounds that actually interfere with the aquatic biosphere. I have a great project with the City of Ottawa looking at optimization of their filters within both of their water treatment plants. From a learning perspective, my grad students have had the opportunity to go into the plant and see full scale how things work, which makes them super confident as young engineers, EITs that go into the industry. I'm working with the collaboration of City of Ottawa. So City of Ottawa gave me the media from their filtration plant and I perform a chemical washing on those media and try to remove the flocks that cannot be removed from hydraulic backwash. So with my research, if we use a proper chemical with a perfect concentration, we can clean it at that level that it will be equivalent to a new media. My current research focus on producing volatile fatty acid, which is a biochemical like acetic, propanic and butyric acid from brewer spent grain, which is a byproduct of ethanol industry. At present, the volatile fatty acid is produced by using fossil fuels from chemicals. So the volatile fatty acid that we are producing from waste like brewer spent grain or food waste is from biological method. So it can significantly reduce greenhouse gas emission and it can reduce the operating costs that can save environment. We need to make sure that the way we treat water is done in a way that has a minimal impact on the environment because we're going to need water forever. So that's where my research really tries to position itself in creating water treatment, water optimization that actually mitigates any long-term impacts on the climate and in the environment while we're treating water that's safe to drink.